Hello and welcome back to my living room. Today we're doing an empties video and it's such a gray day today. It's really weird and I've decided to have a declutter which you might see on my table. I am gonna totally Marie Kondo my makeup collection and I'm filming a reel so hopefully you will have seen that by now. If not, it's on my Instagram, at Estee Lalonde. Go check it out. Today we're doing an empties because it's it's the middle of summer and I thought I would do kind of like a summer empties, things that I've finished up and I'm enjoying my nice cup of tea. This is summer in England, people. It's like sweater and a cup of tea. It makes no sense. So we're gonna start with candles and I'm gonna start with the candle that impressed me the most. It is this Boy Smells candle and it's in the flavor scent, Italian Kush. Ooh, I love this so much. I'm actually gonna go on a Boy Smells rampage because I think their candles are so unique and so cool. Um, this is a scented candle consisting of a coconut and beeswax blend and it burned so well and it smelled so good and I loved it and it doesn't smell like the kush you're thinking of. I mean, it kind of does, but not that I would even know, but it smells really good and I love boy smells. I also finished this candle from Diptyque, which is a really nice summery candle. It's citronelle and it, it's kind of hard to smell it now because it's all gone. It really reminded me of like being a kid and in the summer they put those like citronella candles out to like keep the mosquitoes away. And it kind of smells a bit like that but in a really nice like bougie way. So I loved this. And then the last candle I finished is from Uncle Studios. And Uncle Studios is a brand that was founded by Allegra, Allegra Shaw, and I love her so much. She is a fellow Canadian and she is stunning and gorgeous. I'll leave a link. Sorry, there's something in my eyeball and I'm like trying to, whoa, hello. What are you doing, my little parrot? Oh my God, that was just a lot of things happening at once. We're gonna keep it moving. She is fellow Canadian and um, she's so cool. If you don't follow her, you should follow her um, on Instagram. I'll leave her link in the description box because she's so cool and I love her sense of style. So yeah, anyway, she has this brand, Uncle Studios, and this is called Half Past Seven and it was such a nice candle and I loved it. So well done, Allegra. And this is not a candle, but it's a home fragrance item. It's the Aesop Anouk oil burner blend and I love oils like to burn them for your house so you just put like a few drops in your oil burner I also put this in my diffuser it smells so good I cannot tell you how much I love this it's lemon ylang ylang and bergamot rind and it's so fresh and I might just have to have a little sniff of it right now if I can open it without getting it in my tea. I can't, but it smells amazing and I love it. And as you can see, I finished loads of bath products because I'm just always in the bath. I'm always contemplating life in the tub. So I'm gonna just show you what I finished. Um, I go through loads of these. These are the West Lab Restoring Magnesium Flakes and I love magnesium. As humans, we're lacking magnesium and you put this in your tub you can even use it for like a foot bath if you wanted and it's so nice and restorative so i finished that and then i also finished mm, yeah this is another magnesium um soak which is by a brand called nature of things i love following them on instagram i love the like look of their products so i've been dying to try this and i didn't know where i could find it in the uk but there's a store called standard dose and I'll leave a link to this down below because I bought a ton of stuff from Standard Dose. It's such a cool store. I can't believe I hadn't heard of it before. And this was a really nice magnesium soak as well. And what else? Here's another um, bath soak from Audacite. And this is really nice. This is a bit different. This is a more uplifting soak. So it's like very um, like citrusy and they call it the mood cleansing ayurvedic bath soak and it definitely does cleanse your mood i love using this on a saturday morning this is my favorite saturday morning bath i've also finished these these were the herbivore calm ylang ylang and vanilla soaking salts so i always like to put a salt in my bath as a base um when I have a bath, I have like a, a system. So salts are always like the first part of that system. So I put 
those salts in. They were really nice. I love her before. And then these were the Neil's Yard um, lavender bath salts. I actually am not a fan of lavender. I don't like the smell of it. It's okay. It's, it's nice. It's a pretty standard bath smell, you know? Um, but I can't deny when I'm exhausted and I have not slept in like four days because I have insomnia, um, a lavender bath, it, it does help. It really does. And it's very soothing. Oh, and when you smell lavender, it's like, I don't know, there's like a trigger in your brain that's like, and now it's time to rest. So Neil's Yard obviously is like such a great classic go-to for bath products. And then I, oh gosh, how could I forget this? This is the Binu Binu Henio, I don't think I'm gonna say that right, Sea Woman Bath Soak. And I am obsessed with Binu Binu. Binu Binu is the coolest soap brand in the entire world. And when I realized that they do a bath salt, I had to buy it. And this was a black lava salt peppermint um, bath soak. And it was minty. I love minty fragrances. And so this was super nice. And I think I'm gonna keep the tin and put some stuff in it because it's reusable. So that's great. I love it. I thought this was amazing. So go check out Binu Binu. And then I finished some oils. I have to start with Olverum. This is like everyone's favorite cult classic bath oil. Every single person that smells this loves it, including me. So relaxing. When I smell it, I'm like, and goodbye, switching off. So highly recommend Olverum if you are a bath lover and you've never tried it. And then of course, another classic, Aromatherapy Associates. This is their open space bath and shower oil. I don't really use it too much in the shower. I always use it in the bath. Um, just add a capful into the running water. Oh my gosh. To step into a bathtub right now would be so sweet. And the last bath oil that I finished is from Bamford. And Bamford is one of my favorite brands for like, you know, wellness brands and relaxation. This is their nighttime bath concentrate. Um, with chamomile, lavender, and vetiver. Vetiver is my favorite scent. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bath oil. And I've had a treatment at Bamford, so it always reminds me of that treatment, which is like really nice when I'm trying to relax. Moving on to skincare, because you know I love skincare. Ugh, I'm just, there was a little piece of fur in my throat. <laughs> Sorry. I'm back. Um, I love skincare so much and I spend a good portion of my life putting moisturizing things on my face. So I think I'll start with some masks that I finished up. I am obsessed with the Decree sheet masks. I actually had one on this morning because I love them so much. It's their SOS Revitalizing Mask Weekly Morning and Night Biocellulose Treatment Mask. They're just like the perfect sheet mask when you need hydration and nothing else. Like. So many of my sheet masks are brightening and sometimes I just want like thirst quenching for my skin. So these are amazing. It's, it's soothing, it's calming, it's hydrating and it is also brightening, but it's like the focus I feel like is hydration. So love these. And I also finished this Dememiel Pure Calm Cleansing Dew. I love, love, love Dememiel skincare products. They always make me feel like safe and grounded and that's because she's like a Reiki healer as well and she's so nice. I've been lucky enough to have a treatment with her and it was, you know, I've had a few life-changing facials and I don't say that lightly and the Dememiel facial was one of those. So whenever I use her products, I'm like, and chill. So I finished that and this is a really cool cleanser because it's like a, a gel but it's like a thicker gel oil kind of thing and it's dark blue it's a dark blue um, color you can see a little bit in there it's like a dark bluey green and it's just so nice to you so I love that cleanser then I finished a La Mer regenerating serum I am I love La Mer I don't care what anyone says I know it's expensive. I know that there are brands that are more affordable that are just as good, but there's something about La Mer and I just love it. I love it. I feel 
like a princess when I use it. So I love La Mer and this serum is so, so, so good. And this is a great product. This is by a brand called Ven. This is their vitamin B activated all-in-one concentrate. And I've definitely finished these before and put them in empties, but it's a great all-in-one product. Like if I get home and I am exhausted and I don't have time to do all my steps, I just like slap this on and it's better than nothing because it's also really good. Um, and also sometimes I feel like my skin doesn't want like tons of stuff on it. So this is just like a nice all rounder. Really like this and really like Ven products in general. And then I finish a Shantikai Flower Harmonizing Cream. And this is a gorgeous cream, does what it says on the tin, just your average cream, but really nice and light, but also very hydrating. It's amazing. And then I finished this. This is the Amora Vitsa Cleanser. This is their thermal cleansing balm. And it's a great cleanser. What? Yeah, cleanser, cleansing balm, because it is really good at kind of like you know, cleaning the skin and really getting in there. And I feel like it's a treatment and a cleanser in one. And I love Amoravitsa so much. So I've used this product for years and will continue to use it for years. That magic Amoravitsa mud. And a few more bits. I finished an MV Rose Plus Booster, another one of those products that I'm like obsessed with. It's my favorite oil ever been that's ever been created. I actually said to Sharon, who's the founder of this brand, I was like, if I could ever buy your recipe for like for this Rose Plus Booster, that's this is what I would want. I would want this because it's just the perfect oil. I love it so much. And the other thing about that rose oil is if I'm having a really bad skin moment or like hormonal breakouts or anything like that, and I just I need my skin to be fixed. That's the product I reach for. And I'm really sad that I'm out of it. And I finished two by Terry Balm de Rose, my favorite lip balm. This one for on the go and this one for my bedside table. Okay, last category. I have finished some body products and I'm gonna start with this, which I actually finished just this morning. This is the Suzanne Kaufman body butter. Good Lord, I love Suzanne Kaufman so, so much. And this body butter is no exception. It's rich it's thick but it's not greasy but it's hydrating it's in a glass jar it's so luxury and so perfect but so basic and that's what i love in body products and i finished this which is a super special product this is by sisley this is their black rose beautifying emulsion hydrating satin body veil if a body lotion could be designer this is it like this is a designer body lotion it's special it's like got amazing ingredients in it you feel so special when you use it it's a lovely product and if you're already a fan of the sisley black rose range then you will definitely love this and then i finished a deodorant this is the grown alchemist roll-on deodorant i love grown alchemist i've become the biggest fan of grown alchemist i love their mask they have like a tinted lip product that i love and this deodorant is also so good. It smells like quite citrusy, I wanna say. There's like some citrus in there. I don't know if I'm saying that now, and I don't know if that's true, but I feel like there is. But it says, roll on deodorant, Icelandic moss extract and sage complex. So what more do you want in a deodorant? It's a roll on, which is nice. And I finished two fragrances. Oh my gosh, these are two of my favorite fragrances. Glossier U. You cannot go wrong. You just can't. I have so many perfumes and this is kind of the perfume that I want to wear every day. It's so good. I don't, there's a little bit left in this. Oh, so nice. I don't know how Glossier does it. It's actually so annoying. They are good at everything. <laughs> so I love their fragrance. I love the bottle. Such an amazing product. And I finished my other favorite fragrance, which is the Maison Louis Marie number no. four, Bois de Ballancourt. And I have a blog post all about this range. My obsession. Oh my gosh. You cannot wear this perfume and go like five minutes without someone saying, oh my God, you smell good. It's so nice. And I think that's it. So that is my most recent empties. I hope you love it. And I hope you found it interesting and maybe found some new products that you're interested in trying. Let me know if you've tried any of these and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.